suction and pump that allow the constant flow. Others are going to uh, create this constant flow of water by, by actually swimming. So const by constantly swimming, that's why they, they talk about sharks that are always swimming. They have to maintain swimming because they're always, by swimming, they're open mouths, having that water flow over their gills, and they're always able to, uh, to obtain the, the needed um, gases. What about basking sharks? Has anybody heard of those? Yeah, what do they do? Yeah, they collect food too. They also have a little lower metabolism. They're, they're able to deal with more hypoxia than, than others. So, so they're constantly still getting a little bit going, but they they just tend to be they tend to be sitting still. So they don't necessarily have to be swimming. I just think it's great how a lot of organ or a lot of fish end up. The only way they can breathe is by swimming around with their mouths open or going like that. This is an amazing image there. So there's lots of different ways that these gills can be present. We know that there are skin gills that are present on the sea star, but these are sort of a, an evolutionary outlier, if you want, because uh, these are the echinoderms. Remember, these are actually deuterostomes, and uh, they're just trying to maintain what they can. These work very, very well for these low metabolic organisms here. We know that there are the uh, parapodia found on the marine worms, the polychaetes. These are uh, type of, uh, well, close to the annelids, and they have these little exposed gills, these little parts that sit on the outside here. This is kind of like the uh, larval amphibian that you would see. We can enclose the gills as we see in the clams. We can enclose them as we see in the uh, crayfish. So there's lots of options when you're looking at gills, and the whole idea is to optimize the absorption of oxygen from the water nearby. Gas bladders can help with some of these gills. Uh, usually if it's connected to the digestive system, it's going to work. There's a difference between a gas bladder and a respiratory, or I'm sorry, a swim bladder and a respiratory bladder. So the ones that you saw on the perch were more of a, a buoyancy um, organ and others assist in actual respiration and they can actually start to increase the surface area. The, the really interesting part about these is that this was a big debate of, uh, well, was this a lung precursor? or not. And, and one of the problems is, is that this, this respiratory structure is located dorsally, so it's, uh, it's, in, a, it's in a unique spot. We, our lungs are, when we look at the vertebrates, the lungs are located more ventrally, more toward the, the um, gut side of the animal. So are they um, homologous structures? Is that a possibility? They do have some similar development in anatomy that takes place in, in getting these. They, do ha they are an out pocket of the gutter pharynx, which is what happens with the, the lung respiratory um, structure. They do have a surfactant. Does anybody know what surfactant is? So if you look at alveoli in lungs, alveoli, everybody remember that from yesterday? Alveoli are the little grape-like clusters, little sacs that are found in lungs, lining the inside of the alveoli is a fluid called surfactant. What role does it play? Creates surface tension, exactly. So it makes it really hard to completely uh, deflate the lungs kind of maintains the shape of the lungs that contributes to some of the uh, residual volume that always remains in the lungs. The lungs are never fully emptied because if you did that, you would end up collapsing them so that in order to prevent collapse of the lungs, you have this surfactant that, that is present. Uh, interesting quick little side note is uh, on humans, surfactant develops during the last month of gestation. So that's the big problem with premature uh, babies is that they come out and they're unable to breathe quite as well. What's the glottis? Yeah, glottis and epiglottis, same idea. <laughs> you know what an epiglottis is? So on the trachea, I put these little cartilaginous rings here. Here's the trachea. Right next to the trachea are just dorsal to it is the esophagus.
kind of a bad plan. You have your respiratory structure and your digestive structure in humans right next to each other. But there's a little, a little flap that can go over the, uh, can go over the trachea, basically to close down onto it. No, flaps, I, I, it'd be cool if it was like a toilet bowl lid. It's not quite like that. It's more of a flap like this and how it works. But they can close down over the trachea so that when food comes along, it doesn't go into the respiratory system. It goes into the digestive system. And my, my quote for the, the EMP classes is, uh, if this were intelligently designed, we wouldn't have the 10,000 choking deaths that we have a year because people end up with food going down their trachea. That, that was a bad plan. Someone was planning this one. They should have reconfigured it because it, it doesn't work. People die from it. Bad, bad idea. Although, interestingly enough, um, when you were younger, your trachea and uh, esophagus were further up in the back of your throat and allowed you to, uh, to nurse and breathe at the same time. Has anybody ever seen babies do that? They breathe and nurse, or they, they feed and, and breathe at the same time. Amazing, pretty cool. And so as you get older, it goes back down. And thank goodness you've got the glottis because it help, helps to uh, keep you from choking. But the whole question is, uh, back to these swim bladders, uh, they have some similarities to what we see in terrestrial organisms. But did they start off as a buoyancy uh, type of structure or respiratory structure? And it's, it's under debate. It's not really determined which, which one came first. It's not unusual to have a switching from um, dorsal to ventral. We know that that happened in terms of the nervous system. The nervous system went from ventral to dorsal. So maybe a switch like that is not too, too insane in terms of capabilities. Any questions? All right.